Time now for Women's Health Wednesday. And today we're talking about heart disease, the number one killer of women, ahead of World Heart Day, which is this Friday. And joining me now is Dr. Rebecca Phillip of Albany Cardiothoracic Surgeons. Dr. Phillip, thank you so much for making the time. I know you have a very busy schedule. Yes, thank you for having me this morning. Here. I know this is such an important topic, especially for women, but for everyone. It is. Yes. It so is. let's talk first about World Heart Day. The whole idea of it is a global reminder. Take care of your heart. And this year I know their campaign is saying, know your own heart first. How do we do that? Right. So I think um, with you know, our own health care and, and managing, taking care of our, our own wellness, making sure that we go for our physical exams and yearly checkups. Um, and then, you know, taking ownership of knowing our own numbers. So knowing our mm -hmm. blood pressure um, and how that's running, knowing our cholesterol numbers. Um, if you're a diabetic patient, knowing your blood sugar and how that's running. And so really taking ownership of managing your health. And you can't know if there's anything wrong with your heart unless you go for those well visits, for those physicals. And this should happen every year. And that's where they usually will give you that EKG. If they see something there, then it advances, right? Right. So if they find something in your lab work or on the EKG, then right. they would um, probably refer to cardiology, who would then see you regarding whatever the issue was. Prevention is so important here. Let's talk about that a little bit sure. and how people can hopefully avoid heart disease. So it comes down to really simple things. So diet, exercise, and I know we all hear it, but it becomes hard to add it into our day. Mm -hmm. um, but just a healthy diet, yeah. chicken, fish, vegetables, high fiber, um, all of that's important. Um, exercise, so ideally, even if it's just 20 minutes of walking every day, um, but you know, at best three times a week would be great. Um, and you know, if you're a patient who is smoking, yeah. stop <laughs> right. um, however you can, because that's a, a really big um, a, a really big component of, of yeah. heart disease. And prevention is so important because sometimes there may not be any symptoms. And for women, it can be even a little more complicated sometimes. Uh, explain some of the symptoms that women, if, they're, if they are having symptoms, what they would look like or, or feel like. Sure, um, and that's why women oftentimes go overlooked when it comes to heart disease. Yeah. Um, so normally we think of the classic chest pain or arm pain symptoms as mm -hmm. um, key that something's going on with our heart but a lot of times for women they become short of breath or fatigued so they just attribute it to i'm, I'm tired or i'm getting older i'm busy um, yeah right or they have feelings of nausea or indigestion which are different and they you know think that that's from something else but not from their heart and so it goes overlooked or it goes missed for a lot longer. Um, so a lot of times in women, we see things a lot later as they've progressed and that's harder to treat then. Is that usually the way it presents itself in women or it just runs the gamut where, you know, it can be the, the fatigue and the... It depends. Yeah. It depends on, um, mm -hmm. you know, on, on the, the patient's history and on right. family history. That's a, another big component. Let's talk about that too, because you do need to know that family history and then right. share it. Right. Doctor. So if heart disease runs in your family, all the more reason for you to be really on top of your health care and on top of, you know, annual checkups. Um, there's a big genetic component of heart disease yeah. that we can't control. So all mm -hmm. we can control is the diet and the exercise um, and, and things like that. But the genetics plays a really big role. Coronary artery disease is the most common form of heart disease. Explain that and then also why women are more at risk once they hit menopause. Sure. So coronary artery disease is, is essentially when plaque is building up in the arteries and inflammation is happening in the arteries. It damages the wall of the arteries um, and that's what can cause blockages. Um, like we think about that, you know, we treat with medications, we treat with stents, we treat with bypass surgery. Um, but ideally we'd like to catch it before it gets to that point. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, that's I think the focus of most of, of what I do and, and what the team, you know, at St. Peter's does. And menopause presents its other challenges too because of hormonal changes? Right, so for women, especially you know, during and after menopause, the level of estrogen drops. Um, and when that happens, it puts you at more risk for coronary artery disease or for even for heart rhythm disturbances and things like that. So when you know other women in your life, right, it's really important that we spread the word. Yes. So much of this is education. Yes. Right, so talk to your friends, talk to your family, um, help you know, kind of get everybody on the same page with being more aware of of what's yeah. happening. If we don't take care of ourselves, we can't take care of everybody else, right? right? Yes. Doctor, thank you so much for coming in. Dr. Thanks Philip, for we appreciate me. your time. Such an important topic. Thank you for having me.